I spoke with David Gearhart today, President and CEO of EKRC, about can we handle this drug problem as it's progressing in terms of treatment. Gearhart is on the Kentucky Board of Alcohol and Drug Counselors and a 14-year veteran of the Prestonsburg City Council, which could possibly set him apart from other treatment facility owners. I've been involved in, in, in the world of substance abuse for, for over a decade now, and um, I'm currently on uh, the state board for alcohol and drug counselors. Um, I've, uh, I've been on the city council for several years, so I, I've, I've seen it evolve uh, through, through that end of it. And one of the things that we all talk about is, um, is, is, is like I kind of said before, is, is community involvement. That's huge. The, the community has to be involved. If the community's not involved, then, um, and, and, and the community doesn't have a good understanding of the drug problem and exactly how we're treating and what's going on, it'll never work. It is the season of saving and upgrading at Appalachian Wireless. So how about an iPhone 13 for a penny on the mix and match or unlimited plan? The season of saving and upgrading. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Gearhart's key goal as drug addiction continues to grow worse in Eastern Kentucky is to educate not only the clients and potential clients, but the community as well. I think that's one of the big issues we need to continue to work on is bridging the gap between treatment facilities and the community. It's really hard for, for, for a lot of community members to understand sometimes what we're doing and I feel like we can do a better job at educating them and getting the word out. Gearhart also serves on several state boards to do with drug treatment and says that he is trying to make policies as he goes along. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Sheldon Lee Compton.